This is how we would like our rivers to look, unspoiled and safe to enjoy. Beneath the surface, the reality is less idyllic. Thousands of unauthorised sewage outflows threaten river, animal and human health. A catalogue of failure, according to the regulator, that's levied huge fines on three companies that it insists consumers won't have to pay for. We set uh, uh, the prices that water companies can charge. There is absolutely no provision for fines. So I want to be very clear with customers, they will not be paying towards fines. These fines sit with companies and their investors. Three companies face potential fines of £168 million. Thames Water was hit with a proposed record penalty of £104 million. Yorkshire Water could pay £47 million and Northumbrian Water £17 million. Endurance swimmer Laura braves the Thames near Henley every day and has been campaigning to clean up the river for years. I think we'll take it as a win. Yeah. After years and years of campaigning, um, that shouldn't have been left up to charities, community groups and, and NGOs to call out the, the, mm -hmm. the inaction of, of the regulators and water companies. Thames Water says it will cooperate with Ofwat, but warned that any penalty will have to be affordable. A reminder that this is a company in deep financial trouble that needs to win over the city as well as its customers. Thames Water is facing a record fine at the same time as it tries to persuade investors to pour billions of pounds into a company that is drowning in debt and says it will run out of cash in nine months' time. So every pound it has to spend for not cleaning up the rivers makes that a harder sell and the company's future less certain. On the riverbank, there is little faith in Thames Water. About time, but not enough. They need to put all their money back into actually sorting the rivers out rather than pulling out and paying their shareholders, I think. I don't trust Thames Water at Be all. Nice. Yorkshire Water and Northumbrian Water both say they're disappointed with the ruling and will contest the fines. They may not be the last. All the other monopoly providers in England and Wales are also under investigation. Paul Kelso, Sky News.